In 1831, the shifting sands of Uig Beach, on the Isle of Lewis in Scotland, revealed treasures that had been buried and forgotten for over 700 years. A stone kist was found, and inside lay a hoard of intricately carved medieval gaming pieces. There were enough pieces for at least four chess sets, and they became known as the Lewis Chessmen. Made from walrus ivory, and some from whale teeth, the character of each is striking. The stern king with his sword on his knees, the meditative queen with her chin in her hand, the battle-crazed rook biting his shield, believed to be modelled after berserkers, elite warriors of the Norse world, the noble knight on horseback, the solemn or perhaps worried bishop, and finally the characterless pawns, the foot soldiers of medieval society, poor, interchangeable, anonymous. The style of the pieces tells us they were probably Scandinavian in origin. It's thought they were brought over to Lewis from Trondheim in Norway, which was a center for ivory carving and trading at the time. Though they may seem remote today, the Outer Hebrides were a significant part of this interconnected seafaring landscape in the 12th and 13th centuries. The chessmen have such a mysterious origin. We don't know who made them, who buried them, or where they were destined, but the hoard has given us an invaluable insight into art, games and trade in the medieval world. <laughs>